All right, the next step um, that we need to do is install Apache Ant in order to be able to run our Cordova project. Uh, you can do that by going to ant.apache.org and then under the download section, select binary distributions. If you scroll down just a hair, uh, there's the zip archive right here. You can click to download that. Um, I've already downloaded it, so I'm going to go ahead and show it in the finder. And we're going to rename this folder to Ant. I'm just going to go ahead and copy it. We're going to move it to our um, home directory. Go ahead and paste it in our home directory. Now that we have that pasted in our home directory, we can go to expand the Ant folder and then expand the bin folder. Inside the bin folder, you can see our ant executable. So we need to add that to our path. And in order to add that to our path, first we need to navigate to our home directory. And if we do an ls-a, um, we'll see the bash profile that was covered in another video. We'll go ahead and open it with text edit once again. So dot bash underscore profile. All right. Now that we've got that opened. Uh, one easy thing to, we can do here is go ahead and cd to our ant directory and then cd to the bin directory and then we can print the working directory and we'll go ahead and copy it copy and add a colon to add another another um, directory to our path go ahead and save this file and then in our terminal window, we'll go ahead and cd back to the home directory, and we will re-execute our bash profile by just calling it. All right, now that that's done, we should have ant available. Nice, okay, so we called ant, and we didn't really pass anything in, so we got an error, which is exactly what we wanted. Now that we have ant installed, the next video will show how to create our first Cordova project. Um, and we'll go walk through the process of actually running it as well.